been to the hairdressers. <laughs> Let's get going. Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy and you are watching Running So and So. First of all, can I just say a huge thank you for everybody who watched the last video from me. That was just so lovely to see all those comments and the birthday wishes. Thank you so very, very much. Um, this year's birthday seems to have sort of gone by in a bit of a whiz because I was going, I went up to Whitby to help Rachel celebrate her birthday weekend there the day before my birthday. And then my, then it is, well, we had Rachel's birthday. And then um, in two days time, my brother is 60. Um, there's actually a year, a week and a day between Simon and I. So I've been so busy organizing his birthday present. Um, and that's all arrived and he's opened it. So I'm really quite pleased about that. Also, um, thank you very much to Jane. So like Jane for the coffee. Thank you so much. You're so very, very kind. And he's much, much appreciated. I do have a coffee account. It's listed in the description box below. And if you are new here, hello, welcome aboard. And if you liked the video, thank you so much. So then, what's happening in my world of sewing? As you can see, I got dressed ready to go running this morning. <laughs> Didn't go running, did I? It threw it down. And then I thought, right, I'll go shopping. So I hauled off into York, took the girls to the race course. We all got very wet, nipped into the centre of town to buy some fabric to make some nativity clothes for school. So the children, we've got three children. They're doing something called, um, for the nativity, it's called Lights, Camel, Action. I'll link it in the description box below. If you are a teacher and you do want nativity play for education, you can buy them online, school buy them because obviously they have school licenses and things for the production because if you do something like this and you do it um, as a production, you have to have a performance license. So obviously all that comes when you buy it. But it's by a company called Out of the Ark and it's based upon Strictly Come Dancing or if you're elsewhere in the world, Dancing with the Stars. So the hosts, which in our country is Tess and Claude, uh, Claudia, we have got three hosts. We've got two boys and a girl and they're going to have sparkly sequined waistcoats and the young lady is going to wear a sparkly circle skirt. So I trotted off to boys today. They didn't have any sparkly sequins. So it looks like I'm going to Minerva. That's a job for this evening. More paperwork. Um, in the meantime to that, I have some preparation to do for my sewing school, which I will come to later on in the vlog. And I have to get myself prepared for one of my Vlogmas projects. So obviously I'm back on the machine embroidery this year for the Vlogmas folks, with a twist. The twist has already cost me 225 pounds, but um, it, I've bought myself a new um, hoop for the embroidery unit on my sewing machine. Now I know that a lot of the machine brands are doing these now. They're either doing um, hoops with ratchets at the top. So at the moment, I've got a side. I'll go and get one and show you. Hold on. So this is the small hoop. And they have these little screws here. Can you see? It's right in the middle there for this one. Now, I do use the small hoop. Because if I'm just doing something small, I don't want a great big piece of material. I just want a little tiny piece of embroidery. But this screw can also be here. And tightening it as you get as you as you get older, your body does start to have aches and pains. You can't get away from it. It's a fact of life. I can't believe what's on the table next to the camera. Cycle helmet. I saw it was affecting the light. And I do have a bit of arthritis in one of my fingers. Look at that. I'm looking up so I can see you. I am in focus. I have to look at the side there so that I can see what I'm seeing. So yeah, this and I do periodically give it a little pushback, just to remind it that it doesn't need to be too arthritic. And I also have strain injury down my thumbs as well. I'm 61, I'm allowed to, and I've used my hands all my life. It's a fact of life, things are going to start hurting. So I've bought one of these hoops, and it's got magnetic clasps all the way around it. But it requires my sewing machine to have a software update. And that is what I'm going to do first. And because I'm 61, the sun is setting on the day. I'm about to start on computers. It's a tiny glass of red wine. I think I might need it. 
I think I might need it. So this evening's process projects are, let's get this machine updated with its software. Uh, if there's any problems, I'm sure Mr. Drummond will be receiving my machine back. Um, and, uh, uh, and fixing it for me. I spoke to Liz at the store yesterday and she's, she said, it's really easy, Judy, you should be able to do it. I've spoken to Lorianne who says, it's a doddle, even I can do it. And I'm like, okay. But I think it's that your sewing machine is so precious. And when someone says, we want you to fiddle around with the software, you're like, oh my God, what if it all goes wrong? But if anybody's watched Alison um, on So Like Dotty recently, Alison's been giving lots of shout outs to David. Um, I've used David Drummond for a very long time, um, probably nearly 25 years. And if anybody does, does need a sewing machine or anything to do with sewing machines, give David a call. Um, he is fantastic. For example, there was a problem with my little Benina we'd been given the wrong socket and there was a complete and utter fluke in the machine and it blew the circuit board. Um, David collected the machine from Hannah's on ch Tuesday morning and Hannah lives in York and she had it back yesterday which is Friday, it had gone from Tuesday to Friday um, and the price he reflected it accordingly because he said should have been covered, I'll cover it. So I can't complain at all. And the, while the machine was there, um, I asked David to give it full service. So it's coming back fixed. But that service, and service is hard to find sometimes. So if you find somewhere that gives you service, go for it. If you need sewing machine service, if you need anything to do with any sewing machine, main brands, just give him a ring. And he's brilliant. And his team of lovely ladies, are amazing. I heard Alison mention Suzanne. I've dealt with Suzanne, but it was Elizabeth yesterday. And sometimes, I think there's a jean there. There used to be a sofa. Anyway, there you go. So, let's see if I can. I don't know whether just to leave the camera running and see what happens when I try to do this, but should we have a go? Actually, um, I might just turn you off for a minute because it's Saturday afternoon. There's nothing on the television and catching up with vlogs I've just discovered actually before I go any further has anybody seen Tamlin's uh, Friday Sews videos and she's added in a section where this is a new vlogger I've discovered do have a look at them and I'd like to recommend a vlogger to you she is called Tiffany I think she's in the States somewhere she could be Indiana but they're a farmer and she's called Who's Your Handmaid? And I'll pop her in the in the in the bits below. But uh, I'm be, I'm catching up with Adam, so I've become rather addicted to Adam. So I've got a few of Adam's vlogs I've not watched yet, so I need to watch those. I've just watched Tamlin's um, A Gift for November vlog, and I know, and I've watched her. I was just starting to watch when I came through from the living room. So it's on the living room YouTube television. Is is Tamlin's? collaboration with uh, Dell and Emma vlog. I'm going to go on to Adam in the kitchen. So yeah, if you've got any good videos to watch or suggestions, give me a little link below and let's share each other's names and try and get our profiles lifted between one another. So here goes, let's see what happens. I'm back with you. Oh dear. I was merrily recording away, doing my prepping for the sewing day and then I died. Well, as you all know, I am doing a sewing day next Saturday in our village. So what we are doing is I am offering, I've got about eight or nine people that have taken up the option to come and learn to sew at the, in the village. But I'm also doing it as a social sewing day. So I've got two separate price points. And the price point that I'm preparing here is the higher price point, which is 35 pounds but I am providing everything they need. So literally that is their cotton, their fabric, their backing, their wadding, and I am going to try and vlog or video or at least talk to them about how to make it. So if they get any problems afterwards, they can actually see how we make one of these things. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a little break from recording this vlog and I'm actually going to put together 
the vlog on how to make the little mat. But what I can show you is this. So I've got, I love these books. These are the Pattern Trace. Um, pattern Trace, Pattern Trace, Pattern Trace, Maker's Log Books. And I do have them down as a vlog to do. I did, I've got this, it is called the Maker's Workbook for Quilting. I have these for dressmaking. I use them. <laughs> I use them religiously. I've had them for ages. And as a little taster, later in the year, when we come round to reviewing what we've done in 2022, I will be using these. Just to, to, I've recorded what it is that I've made. And actually, I write on when I start them. So volume two goes from the beginning, it starts in January 22. Volume three starts in August 22. Everything that I'm going to make is, or have made is in here. And this one I used and I never replaced it and I don't know why I didn't record what I made. I, I picked these books up in the, I got the first one in December 2019 and I never got another one. And then at the beginning of 2022, I thought I'm gonna use one of these. And literally, I have got everything in it that I have made or tried to make or started to make. Um, They're in these books. And this is the one, the first one is the one where I have got everything I've done for the mask making. But I put loads of things in these and keep watching because later in the year, I will show you them properly. Be interesting to see how far I've got through with volume three. It's already on garment number five, but I've actually written in. What I do is I write in when I put the garment into the project bag, I write it in the book. So for example, here are the Brigitte tops, project number four. Oh my gosh, have I got to project four already? Project four is um, uh, the Brigitte tops. I have got to put in the fabric, which I have not done yet, but I know I have made one of those already. And you don't have to fit everything in. Mm. That West Cliff dress is my blog post for Jenny Stitches. And then there's another Brigitte top, and then there's an Isla top, another Isla top, and I think I haven't even recorded the Isla top that I did with Rachel, so I've written it at the front, on the front cover. But it's really good to have them written down somewhere. And I've got a, a little basket and I've got them stacked up in there. So I'm interested to see when I might need volume four. So I have got in this book here, which is the quilting one, which I have, I should actually have recorded the quilt I did with Laurie I did some little tiny sketches, can you see? Really simple, tiled bits of patchwork, literally, squares now the squares are two by two and they'll end up as one and a half by one and a half because i'm just about to set the sewing machine up for piecing the bits together uh, but i decided that this was too big and the ladies wouldn't get that done in a day so what i've done is i have got this little square here and we are going to try and do this in a day and i think that they will be able to do that it isn't difficult to do and then we will bag it out and put some wadding in the middle. I don't think we're going to get, get it bound. It would be much, much better if it was bound, I know. But if they want it bound, I think I might offer to do that for them. Because I think all the people that are doing the beginner's course actually live in the village. So I can do that for them. Or we can meet another time, come down here, and we can do it together. So I am going to get on with that. But what was I baking earlier? I am baking toasted tea cakes. Now in the UK, we have this like um, bread bun, bread cake, if you, depending on where you are in the country, BAP, with currants in and sugar, and it is a sweet dough. And we call it a tea cake. And we are going to be serving toasted tea cakes at morning coffee time next Sunday. So what I thought would be really nice would be to have some shortbread biscuits, some toasted tea cakes and some cheese scones. All of which um, we will make. And the team for making is basically Melanie and me. Because we bake. 
uh, I love baking. So I currently have my tea cakes in my warming drawer and I will put them into the oven to bake very shortly when I put my dinner in to cook. But it is probably just a little too early to put my dinner in the oven because I like to eat my dinner when I'm watching Andrea. This is Sunday afternoon. Oh, talking of Andrea. I'm going to have a vlog completely done here. On my lovely notice board, I have got a pattern and the pattern is because when I watched Andrea two weeks ago today, I thought, oh, it's birthday week and the, the box is due to come um, around the birthday. It arrived the day after the birthday. So I decided I would buy some fabric and a pattern as a little bit of a birthday treat. So I have bought the chalk and notch kid dress. And I'm going to make the version probably with the long sleeves for Christmas. Now, what did I get colourways way wise in my utterly gorgeous Beyond the Pink Door box? Let's have a little look. I was, that's the fabric. Shall I show you the fabric I bought first? Now, Andrea showed two weeks ago this beautiful viscose. Um, and I went for the rust colour. It is a simple viscose, rust coloured. Just, I'm trying to be, just choose things that are slightly different. I'm not always getting the same things or making the same things. Look at that. Beautiful. It's got a little gold fleck in it. Can you see? So that is my Christmas day dress and so my pink door box. Now, I'm sure you have seen a lot of these boxes. And I love, if you saw Ruan, Ruan has put a little picture on... Um, Instagram. I'm sure it was on Instagram. So if I can find it, I'm going to insert it and I'll tag Rowan in. But if you've got those these IKEA Calax units, apparently the box fits in beautifully. I've got a house full of Calax units. So thank you, Rowan, for that lovely little tip. So obviously you all know the routine. Andrea gives you the QR code and you get the most beautiful little card with a saying on. Anything is possible with sunshine and a little pink. Lily Pulitzer, absolutely perfect. Um, now, there was a bit of chocolate in here, so there's lots of little gifts and things that come. And I like it, we've got, I've got a little um, sewing sprinkles. Anyway, it says here, sewing sprinkles. Sewing sprinkles, sprinkle a little joy into your everyday and I think this refers to this utterly divine it does think pink keyring now I utterly utterly love this and I really don't know where I'm going to put it but wherever it goes it's going to go somewhere where it is not lost because it's beautiful I love little things like that. They mean so much. Do you know, actually, I've got an idea where it can go. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. So there's obviously my thread. There's some really nice lace, and I'd love to be able to incorporate the lace into it, into this. Hand sewing needles. Oh, my gosh. I, I lose those. Like they're going out of fashion. Now, there were several different colorways of the fabric this month. I got the cream in the autumn one. Now, um, I've just seen Andrea from So Andy Sews. I'll put a little link to Andy in a minute. And So Andy Sews, she has made the hug hoodie. And it looks really cosy. So maybe I'll do this and maybe I will try and put some lace around it. You never know. So that was my pink door box. Mm -hmm. I thought I might put this. over the end of my sewing machine. Can you see it? Here I am back a few days later. I've had, I've had a very busy week. It's been, since I was recording on um, Sunday, it's been quite a difficult week for one reason and another. I, I know I'm not looking at the camera and I'm really very sorry. 
I had a difficult day on Wednesday, Tuesday I had a difficult day and then on Wednesday evening I got some utterly devastating news, it's the only way to describe it and it was to me a case of history repeating itself. Um, my late husband's adorable assistant has passed away at the same age that David passed away at. Um, and I had no idea he was ill. I saw, last time I saw him actually was when I went to Betty's with Laurie Ann and Larry in, in June. So forgive me, but what I'm going to do is I want to publish my vlog and I believe that that's what my friend would want me to do. I know it would be actually. Here we go. So Jane, really kindly, because when I was in Oregon last summer, Joanne's did not have one of their sales. They better do next year, otherwise that will be very cross. Um, so Jane very kindly sent me uh, some patterns from Joanne's. In fact, the envelope does actually have another parcel in it for Rachel, because she sent patterns to both of us. So I, the first one I've got here is, and I hope I can see the number on the back. Yes, it's Simplicity 9374. And it is a beautiful gilet. Now, the, you know, a long cardigan. And I thought this would be really nice because I, I've discovered, actually, I've pretty just started wearing gilets. And this bit of the body here, really, if you've got this bit covered, even if your sleeves are free, you can stay really warm. And I do spend a lot of time outside, so building those layers up around my chest are really important. And I was wondering, perhaps not necessarily to make the longer one, but this shorter one here, which is actually class view B, um, I thought that would be quite good actually for um, making some of that lovely Higgs and Higgs ribbed fabric. And I think they Higgs and Higgs are at Knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate next weekend. And I'm actually doing this on, I'm recording this on Friday night, and it's So Esquake on Sunday, and I have just been recording for So Esquake. Another one that she's ordered me is a ripstop pattern, a ripstop fabric pattern, again, and this is, she sent me a beautiful note, and I've just popped it on the back here so I don't lose it. It is S9481 and it is child to adult, male and female. But it, it isn't a full front zip, it's just a, a neck zip. But Rachel and I both bought, have got ripstop, which I bought in Mill End stores. And I'm sure that... Um, we, we, Rachel and I have both got ripstop fabric, which I bought in the Mill End store in, uh, just outside Portland for us and we are going to both make a running jacket together and the other pan she bought me was this one which is simplicity 1499 and it is a traditional gilet now she did send me some beautiful fat quarters but i have actually put those away because I've got everything out for So Esquick and I don't want them with the So Esquick pile. This is the So Esquick pile that I can take down that's not already cut. Um, I've kept them really separate so people don't think, oh, I like that one. And I'm like, no, you can't have that one. It came from Jane. So thank you, Jane, so very, very much. I needed to get some fabric uh, from... I needed to get some jersey fabric, some black jersey to make a dress. The pattern I'm going to use is the Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company. I have just made that pattern for a review by uh, for, for Jenny Stitches. I've written the blog. Just need to take the photographs, which hopefully I'm going to do this weekend. So I thought, where can I get black jersey from quickly that will be delivered tomorrow? You guessed it. I think I ordered it on Wednesday. So I knew it would come on Friday. The, yeah, that's it. The order went in late on um, Wednesday evening. But while I was on, I thought I'm going to get some of this beautiful quilting fabric that everybody is selling. And, you know, we, I was on the phone to Hannah and it was like, who's going to have written my note from first for fabrics? Is it Julie or is it Tamlin? And when I said it was Tamlin, Hannah just squealed at me. 
<laughs> so as usual and it uh, it is it it's only something really small but when you've had a week like you have just those little notes from Tamlin and she stuck an extra smiley face on um, she didn't know what I needed the fabric for until afterwards. But I've ordered for the, because I'm going to make the 14, the Simplicity 14.99. And for the zip at the front, I've bought one of their new rainbow um, zips. And it's it's an it's an, an opening zip at the bottom. But look at the, you'll see the fabric there. Look at those gorgeous colours. Are they not just so beautiful? Oh, I just thought it was so lovely. The choice of fabric. So I have got one. Now mine has got, the one I have ordered and bought myself, is it's got like the nylon sort of polyester layer. And on the other side, it's got a suede. And I don't know which side to have next to me. I'm thinking the suede. And I thought, I wonder if I could make it reversible. But I need lots of binding. So the next thing I need to do is to try and find the binding. But this stuff is going out of... It's just sort of selling so quickly. And for a gilet, you don't need very much. I think my gilets... Oh, I honestly can't remember what, what, what it cost. But I think it doesn't cost me more than 15 quid to buy the materials for that. 17 if I include the lovely pattern from Jane. So... It's, as I say, it's been a, it's been a, a week of reflection. Um, just the way life is at times. Nothing more than that. So I'm going to ask you to to excuse me for now, and forgive me for cutting my vlog a little bit short. I have done some prep for SOS Quick. I'm going to go like this. Through you. I'm going to lift this beautiful material down. And I'm going to put it past you. I've done some ideas for them. So they've got a base block of blocks already cut. So for now, I'm going to say thank you so very much for watching. If you've not thought of subscribing to my channel, it would be wonderful to have you on board. So for now, thank you so very much for watching. Forgive me for finishing early. And I will be back next week because I want to show you what happens when I try and organise a sewing day.